Hey guys, back with episode 2 already. Oh, broke a block already. <laughs> right, when I log back on since the last episode, turns out that, yeah, game had a bit of a lag moment. So, as you can see, we're back off of some when we started and before it crashed. Probably meaning that it's just our luck. No! The loot is still the same. Alright. So, getting straight into this. Already. Now into the third chest. Ooh, gold ingot. That's going to come in quite useful. More bones. And, ooh, have not got enough inventory space. Now I can do. Now the mushroom down here. And, yeah, if I ever want to expand. Ooh, forgot about that chest. And I dug myself into a hole. Right, let's pull her up out of here. If it is, here we go, chiseled sandstone. So there's going to be a hole in the floor. Alright, so place the first double chest and clear my inventory. And if you don't know how I've done that, it's Shift and Alt. No, it's Shift. Space. My mistake. Shift space. So, like I said earlier, oh, it's pattern, not part. Pattern chest. Comes in great use. So, we place this behind the part builder. And, yeah. These things are from loot bags, which is those on the bottom. They're quite nice. In them, they have a chance of giving you items. Both of them are useful. All of that is useful. As I go along though, some items I may not need. So I will keep them in the loot bag. And after I get four of them, so let's say all of them, all this rotten flesh here is loot bags, then I'll be able to craft it into another bag. So it goes common, uncommon, rare, legendary, then yeah, legendary is the last one. So I've got four bread. That's a nice piece of food. I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to organise this as I go. So, need this, and I need this. So, when I get a load of them, which apparently I can only make 12 at the moment. So, I want to make tool rod. I got the tool binding. I, I don't know if it's just me, but... I make every single pattern there is, and that way I just have to get rid of, well, necessarily, I can just get rid of the stencil table. I had to think of the name then, and I'll look up, it's right in front of me. Max, you're a nutter, people are going to be saying. <laughs> and I know it's true, so yeah. So I can make up to a knife, which yeah you can still make out of the patterns. And in here we go tool rod, tool binding, and yeah. You can also do these with the cast, but yeah, 
and that's for another day. So, we need, oh, uh, game pauses. Uh, this is just my luck. It's typical the game decides to lag again. Oh, there we go, it's caught up. It didn't take long at all. So, before I forget, I am going to grab the four torches that I have. Now I'm going to mine. And I'm going to place torches. So that way we have a bit of light in the place so you can see. Need to make a few doors, need to block up a few holes. But that's for another day. So now because of the wall, luckily, I can make a bed. That way I can skip the night. And I can more. So, first things first, we need to set up a bit of a farm for trees. We need to get a, well, we need more wood. And we also need to do a tiny bit of mining. I'll probably do a little bit of the mining off camera as well to move it all on. But first things first, we need to make a smeltery, which is going to help us in the long run for getting ores, etc. So we can upgrade our tools, as well as aim to get obsidian. Because getting obsidian will also help us, because I can then start mining diamonds a lot quicker. But yeah, with some of the mods in the pack, it's going to be a lot easier for me to progress. So getting obsidian is quite easy. Instead of going through from getting my tools upgraded to copper, but they're already copper, my pickaxe is still stone. It's the way the leveling system goes in the game. So from aiming to one or to the next it would just be quicker if I make obsidian in a pacific way therefore I will be able to get other resources a lot quicker so as you can see I'm just doing a tiny bit of sand gathering would just be quicker if I had yep held that key if you know what vein miner is, and I'm holding the grave key, I have, like I said, modded it so the controls are all linked, and certain blocks are all linked with yeah, the tools. Sounds a bit glitched. There we go. And there we are. And then the game, oh, it's just catching up. Looks like I'm having a bit of bad luck with my computer. So, in here we go. <laughs> I'm having no luck. So, let's go to the chest and make some flint. And the game freezes again. And there we are, we're back again. It's just because the pack's still getting used to being used, etc. So, 
it's quite easy enough because I've got the skill level and mining level well yeah it's tinkers add-ons as you go along it upgrades your tools so let's say I get this shovel all the way to 302 then it will upgrade itself so that way it, one it will be more comfortable it will work more efficiently and so on and so forth also food is going to be a big problem at the start as you can already see I am kind of low on hunger that doesn't really bother me to begin off with but as I go along yeah it will be become more beneficial I'm just breaking a bit of grass seeds which are from Agricraft so breaking of oh, more carrot seeds and oh wheat seeds finally wheat seeds are quite rare you get more common ones like carrots and potato seeds this is where the game's going to prove me wrong guys so i'm going to get a few more wheat seeds just be my luck but it'll be worth it so yeah game is starting to lag a lot more quickly i do not know okay yeah never mind it's back and there you go i got another seed from behind me potato seed and another potato seed I can start growing them over at the base. Let's quickly just grab myself some dirt. Because then I can. There we go. Oh, another lag spike. I do like using Vein Miner. Uh, that's why I have linked out with loads of my keys. And I got Obsidian. Which allows it to be stronger so it lasts longer. Which is called Forcement. Or Reforgement. reinforced okay I will admit I am dyslexic so reading if and saying stuff if it doesn't sound 100% right I am sorry like I say I am dyslexic right since I've got a few stacks of sand which is going to be useful for making the smeltery the uh, next ingredient I need is clay and gravel the next two ingredients I need The game is, yeah, thinks that the oil is water. Don't ask why. Oh, this is not good. I have just walked myself into the oil, which now I am having to dig out of. So, yeah, this is fun. And that is also my time limit coming to the end. So, sadly, it was nice playing with and speaking to you guys, but yeah, sadly, my time to record has come to an end. I will maybe gather a tiny bit of gravel and clay off camera, and yeah. See you in the next one, guys. I'll probably also head back up to base. See ya. Have fun. And this has been Bye from Max.